All right, hello. How is Hi. everyone today? I'm Erin, um, Linda is on a little vacation this week, and so Kathy is joining me today. Yeah, when the cat's away, <laughs> the mice will play. Are we the mice? <laughs> I'm not sure we're playing. <laughs> hello. So thank you for joining us today. Um, we're always trying to update our technology and um, make sure um, we're getting the best to you guys. And so we did get new mics. Um, we wanted to be able to have t not only two people speaking, but three. So we're doing a little mic check. So I just want to make sure everybody can hear myself, hear Kathy. Want to say a few things to make sure they can hear you? Yes. <laughs> mic check. Can they hear me? <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> and then Betsy, we want to make sure everybody can hear Betsy as well. Hi, so. everybody. So far, nobody's saying all right so we're hoping that you can hear all three of us um samantha you're usually our go-to um to make sure that things are working well so we'll just take a second to make sure everybody can hear all three of us and if so it's a go which is really exciting because i know we'd like to have guests on facebook live and so this gives us the opportunity to have two people on facebook live and then the third person behind the camera doing the questions so we hope that this works smoothly so Okay. And I think with Betsy projects, which I know she and I both have problems with. <laughs> um, I think it, if, as long as you can hear her, that'll, that's great. So I think we're ready to dive in. Um, so today we are going to um, start by talking about So Confident. So it's January. Um, we started a new year of So Confident uh, pattern replay. And we kicked it off with the Now Jacket. Uh, the now jacket. Let's bring Is it into she, the center. Make sure that everyone here. can see her front and center. Um, so we kicked off the year with the now jacket. Um, the now pattern, as Kathy can attest to, it seems to be the most amazing pattern to work with. You can transform it into so many different garments. Um, so it goes from the shirt, which is a very simple garment um, that's straight out of the pattern. Um, but for January, um, we turned it into, well, Kathy turned it into, actually, when we first introduced it, um, into a jacket with these amazing um, pockets and um, a little bit extra length. And then the bottom band on, on the bottom, we transformed the collar and then also added the sleeve patch and sleeve placket and made it in this amazing corduroy. It is amazing corduroy. It's a fine little baby whale. <laughs> and it's very easy to work with. It's very comfortable. Um, not stiff like some, I mean, feeling very soft. Mm -hmm. so. Nice and drapey. And so I noticed recently I went into a retail store, tried on some corduroy pants, because corduroy is out there everywhere from jackets, pants. Um, and I tried on a pair of flare corduroy pants. The corduroy was so stiff. I was so disappointed and I was excited to come back to the office and you know, we have corduroy here. I can make my own pair of corduroy pants. So um, it was exciting to know that I could come back to the office and find look what at the, want. yeah, find what I wanted. So I hope all the So Confident people are already well into their project. It was fun to do. It looks like we might have a question. Well, um, some people are getting what we are getting, which is a black screen that is circling. Um, but some people are fine, so I'm not entirely sure oh, where we're okay. going with that. Okay. So an internet issue, possibly. I think an internet issue. Okay. Yeah. But people can hear us, but they can't see us? It seems like it. So oh, that's... other people can see us. So... That's interesting. You might refresh your screen, you know, refresh your browser um, if you're having some issues with the video um, and see if that helps. I hope it really does, especially if you can hear us, which I think is really odd <laughs> that you can hear us and not see us. It's kind of hard to look at our amazing now jacket if you can't see us. So Betsy's refreshing as well just to see if we're back. And like nobody can hear me. Okay, can you hear? Hopefully you can hear. They can hear you. You can hear us. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a learning curve with the new mics and um, something with the video as well, because it's black again. Yeah. 
Can you see me on the, see us on the phone? Most people, yes, I can okay. see you on the phone and most people are able to hear and see you. Okay. So I think you just roll on. Okay. And you guys, if you can't see us, of course we will be recording it so you can watch the video. Right, right. So we always um, record it, keep it on Facebook, and also load it onto our um, website and then also onto YouTube. So if there is something going on with the live stream, um, check back to our website to see the, the downloaded video. A few other things on the Now Jacket. Um, so we do still have kits available. I know um, so many of you have placed your orders and we really appreciate that. We are working our way through the orders. Um, we have um, orders from the Eureka Fleece Pocket Top that we um, had as a promotion, and then we also have the orders from uh, the Now Jacket that we're working on. Um, and so, like I said, we really appreciate your orders, but we also really appreciate your patience as we work through those. Um, everyone um, in the you know, shipping department, Deb and Pat and Becky, they're working really hard to get all that out to you. Um, so we appreciate that patience. And um, we do have um, the raspberry on back order, but it is still available to purchase. And then we have uh, tartan and the royal available in stock, I believe. So, um, so if you have any questions about that, please let us know. All right, so let's dive in. Should we dive into the detours? All right, so we have our detour jacket is a jacket um, that we came out with in 2020, I believe, as a digital pattern. And um, it is, we're gonna do a little trunk show. So here is the detour jacket. It is, um, it has a front angled yoke, has a swing silhouette, nice long sleeves, button front, and then it has a pleat in the back. You can do, I think just like the now, you can do a lot with this pattern. We've done a lot with it. And so you can make it in a simple silk like this one, solid fabric. And you have it on. Oh, I do have it on. That's true. <laughs> I have it on in a, I think it's a wool. It's a wool gauze. Mm -hmm. A wool gauze, which is, we've made so many different detours which I think is really fun. Like you made this one, you made this denim detour. Oh yeah, this was a fun one to make, mm -hmm. to show off the pattern in the, in the fabric, so. The printed denim. And then what else have you done? I think you, I think you made all these, did you make all these detour, most of them? Maybe. <laughs> what about this one? Did you make this one? Oh, I think so. <laughs> so what's this one? Um, this is a jacquard. It's beautiful. Like, yes. Yeah. So it can be a dressy evening jacket if you want, sort mm -hmm. of evening, mm -hmm. casual evening, something to wear to the governor's inaugural ball or something. <laughs> Did you go to Dinner. that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I always looked at what she wore at the inaugural. I've never seen her in a skirt or a dress mm -hmm. ever, ever, no. ever. So. And you made this one as well? I did make this one. This one got a little embellishment up here with some uh, embroidery. We saw a jacket like this in maybe London, but it was red sequins, which I didn't have. But anyway, this kind of just a spur of the moment type design. But I'm going to bring that closer. I want you guys to see the detail. And I know we've shown this on Facebook Live before. But the detail on this embroidery is amazing. And, and what I love about this is I think most people wouldn't think to combine the print with this motif and these colors. But I, it works. <laughs> it it's, was odd, yes. But I, I, but I like it. I think, that, I think knowing how to do that is really a skill. I, I really like that. Well, it's either, it's an experiment. I'm not sure a skill, but. <laughs> oh, well, it's your design skill. <laughs> it works. Actually, I like it. I mean, it does, the colors do not go anywhere, but it, that's what I like about mm -hmm. it. So anyway. I like it. And then we have a corduroy detour. More of a, this is a wider whale than the corduroy that we worked with on the now. 
but it's and it's really soft, really drapey. This has a really I love good this one. The, um, heavy drape. Yeah, the Chicago one is, I think, the same type of fabric. Mm -hmm. Oh, the yeah. Yeah, we have a few other corduroy garments here since we're going to talk about corduroy, and we have been talking about corduroy. It's the month of corduroy. You know, I looked it up on the internet today. You know, is corduroy out of style? Is it back? And it says corduroy comes in and out. You know, you saw things in the 70s with the corduroy bell bottoms. Mm -hmm. You know, that's when you walked and it went zip, 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 zip. made that little corduroy sound on pants. <laughs> but um, I, I don't think corduroy ever goes out. Sometimes it kind of evolved from the garden hunter jacket, you know, with the mm -hmm. suede patch on the sleeves. But... I love corduroy, mm -hmm. and I love the ones that I'm seeing now. It's different than the 70s corduroy. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I like it that there's some of them have stretch, which I think makes it more comfortable. I always like just a little bit of stretch. I think it makes it easy to, easy to wear, whether it's jackets or pants. All right. So let's talk about, let's talk about these detours here. All right, so in, um, in 2020, um, in So Confident, we, um, we featured quite a few different garments and we took um, a pattern and did it in different ways for three months. Um, and so we did um, compendiums to combine all those together. And one of the patterns that came out that year was the detour. And so we, um, we had three different ways that we made detour jackets, whether it was a vest or whether it was a long coat. Um, and so um, we did the first one, which was a garment I could not find in our vast collection, um, uh, but I did print out a picture. Um, so we did a detour swing coat out of a twill viscose in this beautiful paneled print. And so that was basically just, it was lengthening and lining the jacket. Yeah. And so that was just an easy way to take that silhouette and change it up a little bit. And then um, let's do the vest. So, and then we did a vest out of this metallic dot linen, which is beautiful. We just left the sleeves off, added a detailed trim here at the front. I think it's, I think it's beautiful. I like that. And then this one leads us into what we're talking about today. So this is another detour, detour that was made out of a wool gauze. And what do you notice about this one, Kathy? What do I notice? You that notice the, how well the, the print is, is matching up here? It's beautiful, yeah. <laughs> I didn't do that one. I don't think. Um, I, th I think Linda made that one. Mm -hmm. Well, that's probably true. She did. Um, but I love how um, well the print is matching up on the jacket. I think there are a lot of prints out there, and some you have to match, and some you don't have to match. Um, but the ones um, like this one in particular and the corduroy we're talking about today, it's a good idea to match the prints. And the only place I think it's, well, I, I see that she did a little up here, but... Mm -hmm. It's really hard. The yoke is on a bias right here, so you won't get an exact match. It's, it's just not able to do that. But um, when you're matching the front, I've done this many times and miscalculated, but when you match the front, you don't really want to match. You know, you have a tendency to want to do it fold line to fold line. But then when it laps over, that's not a match. I think we've all done that by mm -hmm. <laughs> accident. So you have to think about this fold line on your pattern when you're matching the other one of where it's going to lie on, on your second piece. And that's where you're matching. So this is almost two inches over. And on, so in the compendium that we put out in 2020, we do dive into um, how you match prints. And, it, and she talks about just that, like um, tracing off your pattern pieces for the front, having a right and the left front, and figuring out your kind of statement motifs on the print, and then making sure you kind of like the flow 
and taking like the right front pattern piece and sliding that left front pattern piece underneath and making sure that those motifs, you know, work across the front. Yeah. So it sounds like you did it the same way. I did. <laughs> and on, on this one, it, but I had to think about it a bit because I cut out the right front first mm -hmm. and then folded that piece on the fold line and then figured out that it's going to actually lap over on this piece, maybe two inches over. So I found the matching piece on the rest of the fabric and I did a chalk line two inches down and that, and that showed me where I was going to cut the left front. I'm gonna hold this up a little closer so you can really see. I love um, how the print moves across the front, how it's not a horizontal print. It has a nice flow to it and how she matched it, not only here, so it had good movement there, but then also she was able to match that floral section right there. I could do and a that's, beautiful job. That's, with that fabric, really, that's the only place you're going to be able to match anything. Because again, this is on the bias. So that won't match. And then I just didn't worry about side seams. I don't think it would have worked on this mm -hmm. um, print. But when you're doing this corduroy, you have to make sure all your nap is going down. And this is such a fine um, pile on here mm -hmm. that you really, you know, when I put floral fabric on the cutting table, a lot of times you stand there and think, now what is the f upside down or the other side of a flower. And I thought, mm -hmm. oh, this is easy. I just figure out that the nap's going down. Now, when you do this yoke, it's a piece that goes around here. And the, the layout on the pattern will have you cut it lengthwise. But you can't do that, because if you cut it lengthwise, when you come around here, you're gonna have the exact opposite of the nap going the other way. So if you're making this yoke, in corduroy, it has to cut across on the fabric. And you can feel here, and the inside will go up. So that's the only thing you have to think about when it's on corduroy and the nap on this one, is that this piece cuts different. But this was a wonderful fabric to sew with. I like the back of it is a rather smooth, kind of has some body to it, so you don't need any type of lining. It falls, I mean, it doesn't stick to your body like the uh, other side of some corduroy mm -hmm. does. Okay. There, there's stretch to it. Now, I was mm -hmm. worried about buttonholes going in here, but actually they went in very good coming down. I'm kind of disappointed that of the way I put this buttonhole in because it's stretch, I was on a different nap on it and it didn't go in as well. You know, in the corduroy, I'm not sure you even need this buttonhole at the top. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can be a jacket that just... Um, I wouldn't button it there myself. Yeah, a lot of people wouldn't. So mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. feel you won't button it, just leave this off because it, it won't fly open. Now, the only place I interfaced was inside, I put a little square at each buttonhole. And I didn't really use our fine, finer uh, fusible from Japan. I actually found some of the old style Palon in the stash and, and put squares behind here. This had already been closed up, so I wasn't able to reinforce this in which I should have done. And then I think it would have been okay. But you know, it's one of those garments that after you get finished, it's too late to turn back because I thought, you know, I don't think I needed that buttonhole up there. So did you use that other interfacing because that's what you had, or you think that that was the best? I mean, you could layer the Japanese interfacing, I think, if you had you if can. that's what you yes, have. Yes, I okay. think so, too. Okay. I mm -hmm. was just afraid. I, you know, I was afraid of the pile, mm -hmm. buttonholes with pile. Mm -hmm. But they went in beautifully, Okay. okay. and I was really, really happy with it. It pressed well. It was easy to work with. And I think if you are having trouble with buttonholes, I think there's a couple things you can do because I think any fabric that has a nap 
or has some sort of texture or is going to move a lot on you, you might struggle with buttonholes. So there are a couple things you can do. You can leave the buttonhole off. That, that's, the, that's the easy option right there, <laughs> um, so which I think is, is smart, actually. Um, but then you can also use tissue paper. Do you use tissue paper sometimes with your buttonholes? When I did a test, it was surprisingly, I didn't need it. You didn't need it? You tried I, it, but you didn't need it? Yeah, it yeah. was amazing how these went <laughs> in. And then, so you can use the tissue paper. Sometimes you use it at the top and the bottom, or maybe you just use it on the bottom. So the, the you know, the feed dog, you can get your fabric through a little easier. Um, have you ever used cording? Oh yeah. Or like have pearl it? cotton? I do. You have? Okay. Yes. And that, it would have been good to do that here again. Mm -hmm. It would have been a subtle mm -hmm. difference. It definitely needed it up there. Okay. And I had a sample, but I I don't know where it went um, exactly, but um, we do have, um, if you want to use a cording or a pearl cotton um, through the buttonhole itself, um, we did do a Facebook Live on that that Linda demonstrated actually a couple different ways you can um, tackle buttonholes, and she did it last year in November, November 8th of last year, and she, it was specifically about buttonholes and knits, but I think it can apply to a lot of different fabrics. Um, that you're struggling with getting a buttonhole in because I know when you're getting ready to put a buttonhole in it's good to test it and so if you're struggling on fabric to get a get a nice clean buttonhole that's a good episode to watch um, so you can try a couple different techniques in order to um, get the best buttonhole yeah and that's so. when you know you have a little notch on the back of your buttonhole foot that you can loop a fine pearl cotton through mm -hmm. and then your zigzag goes over it so mm -hmm. so that's a good recommendation mm -hmm. but otherwise I did not use any interfacing on this jacket the back it just had enough body um, it it does have stretch mm -hmm. so I think it's uh, let me check 2% spandex yeah it has a nice stretch in it mm -hmm. I did um, use the fusy web on the hems before I stitched it and I found it didn't stretch. It was just a great fabric to work with. So you didn't use any interfacing anywhere in the no yoke or along the collar or no, anything? No, I, okay. I felt it had mm -hmm. enough body. It okay. didn't need anything extra. Okay. Well, should we take some questions before okay. we dive into all the fabrics we have? Yeah, so remember you'll probably have to repeat. Okay. Um, the first question is, could someone put the floral jacket on? Okay, could someone put the floral jacket on? This one? This would be for you to put on, Kathy. Mm -hmm. I will put it on. It does not match my other ensemble. But. <laughs> and then afterwards, you need to talk about your dilemma. People want to know. Oh, yes. Maybe I should talk about it now. <laughs> you want me to hold it? Okay. It feels really good too. Mm -hmm. You know, when you sew something, you just every once in a while have to put it on and see how far you've got. <laughs> see how far you've come. <laughs> this really, the feel of this fabric is great. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to have to talk you into a photo before you head out the door today oh. in this jacket. <laughs> Give me tips for prepping corduroy. It did. I had to, um, every once in a while I found out that, you know, if I use steam, sometimes it had little steam hole marks on the fabric. I thought, well, perhaps I'm over-pressing it. But do you, do you use a pressing cloth or do you press from the wrong side? Oh, you should do all that. I probably didn't. <laughs> but, um, and so at the very end, I have a little tailor brush. And so I just brushed some of the pressing marks out. It came out nicely. Oh, okay, nice. All right. I have of that. Is this okay? Mm-hmm. Pull back just a little bit. Pull. Now the sleeves have been lengthened one inch. Is that something typically you would do? No, Linda no. told me to oh. do it. So I'm not sure why. <laughs> if she feels the de detour. Mm -hmm. Sleeve is too short, but one inch mm -hmm. works perfectly for me. Mm -hmm. Maybe she was thinking of you when she did that, but anyway. <laughs> well, that looks good. 
That's your color? It does. I can't mm -hmm. see myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what size is the jacket? This is a small. Mm -hmm. The other one I have on is a medium. This detour is a medium. Well, so do you want to put on your Zona again to talk about it? Are we done with, are we finished with corduroy? <laughs> well, it is corduroy. So um, Kathy has on a corduroy jacket as well. Um, so it's a Zona jacket that she had. It's partially corduroy and partially viscous linen, right? So when you show up to do these, you kind of want to dress with the theme of the day. <laughs> and so True. I looked in the closet and I thought, okay, what do I have that is corduroy? <laughs> And about two years ago, I made this jacket. This is the Zona pattern. And I thought it was just brand new. No, I've had it for two <laughs> years. And so what I've done is I've taken, this is kind of, remember this is some of the first corduroy that we carried mm -hmm. for a while. Right, it was a lighter weight corduroy. Lighter than weight, what we have so now. soft, mm -hmm. so wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then there was a um, linen. I think this is the linen and viscose mix. Mm -hmm. Right, I think it is. Yes. All right, so I did kind of a cut up mix on it. This is the Zona pattern. And this pattern, you'll see it has asymmetrical darts. Here's a bust dart over here. There's no bust dart, but the back wraps to the front here. And the front wraps to the back here. There's two versions of the Zona. One has a um, vent all the way up the back, and this and one does not. So I love how you piece the two but anyways, fabrics. So this is corduroy up here, 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 and then I think I did the back mm -hmm. in corduroy. Yeah, through the back. I think that's great. It was kind of fun to do. <laughs> Any other que questions, Betsy? Um, can you put on the now jacket? Oh. Okay. All right. Um, so you can't hear Betsy, which is too bad. Uh, but I'm going to put on the now jacket, the one we're doing for January. So confident. Um, the one I'm putting on is a medium. Gonna... This was so beautiful on you when it was photographed. <laughs> the cover page for the so confident for the month of January. <laughs> Thank you. I just thought, I just thought that was a beautiful picture. Well, having the capital, the state capital backdrop didn't didn't hurt anything. <laughs> so I'm putting it over my ET long sleeve ET. Let's see if I can gracefully put it on. <laughs> the, the test. And I have getaway jeans on as well. Kind of a, is that a good combination? I'm thinking I like it is. It <laughs> <laughs> Look how that works out. <laughs> Love when you go to the closet at the sewing workshop and things just magically go together. <laughs> All right. Um, another question. I know there are two questions about the detour. Did you line it and how much extra for matching? And then. The so. Did we, did we line the detour jacket and how much extra yardage do you need to match the prints? So Kathy, did... This was just as the pattern, two and a half yards on this uh, for, for the size small. If you want to really cover all possibilities and we're in making a size larger than small, I probably would get three. It's, um, the motif doesn't reverse itself and sometimes you have to search around to find where that motif mm -hmm. repeats but again once you get the front matched and you don't have to match the front mm -hmm. I mean it does look That's nice beautiful. to have it matched but the rest of the you know I didn't mm -hmm. worry about the sleeves I didn't worry about anything up here yeah the so it's two and a quarter typically for extra small to medium um, so then we'd recommend bumping it up just a little bit to two and a half, and then um, it's two and a half for the larger sizes, but we recommend bumping it up to three. And there is no lining. I thought the finish on the inside didn't need lining. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. really does Soften. hang nicely on mm -hmm. the body. And again, no interfacing except for the buttonholes. Mm -hmm.
Okay. How about we're, we're going to move Naked Lady? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the fabrics we have um, today. So we do have um, so the print, the gold print that was used in the detour jacket. Um, we do have so this colorway, and then it does have this gray and blue colorway as well. So we'll start off with those prints. Um, and then we also do have some really good solid corduroys as well. Um, so we have um, a similar, I'd say these are just a tad thicker um, than the print. And we have them in these really rich, wonderful colors. Um, this, was a, this is a graphite. And then this one is an oatmeal. And, um, and then we do have another printed corduroy over here. And this is a different print than the jacket that we showed, um, but it's the same fabric, the same stretch corduroy as the other prints. Now this is a, I'll go back, this is a cotton. It has a tiny bit of stretch in it. Mm -hmm. But you know, the, the floral ones are 68 cotton, 30 viscose. So I think, and okay. you know, the whale of it is so fine that from a distance you cannot mm -hmm. tell it's corduroy. Mm -hmm. So it does have a little bit of uh, different fabric content. I wonder if that's what gives it the soft drape. You oh, know, it's, the, the It's viscose. wonderful. Mm -hmm. I think that's really nice. And then, so we have in a uh, camel, no, we call it copper. We have it in a copper, a mermaid. I just love that name, a beautiful jewel tone green the print, and then down at the bottom is a black. So the content of these, yeah, just two, so 98 cotton, 2% spandex on the solids. So I think these can make jackets. You can do, um, I think even these, um, this version with the print, I think even those could be pants, the getaways. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> I think here you can see the difference in the nap. You might want to tell them. There's the medium cord versus the small cord. The whale. Yeah, the whale. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, the solids do have a wider whale than the print. Can you do the yoke in print and solid? So mixing them, could you mix, is that, could you mix the print and the, um, the solids together in one jacket? Is that the question? I think you could. I think they're a little bit different weight, but not enough to where I think that would be an issue. I think that'd be really nice. Um, if you were to, I think I like these two together. I think the oatmeal with the gold print is really nice. I think that's really fun. This one actually looks, well, you know, these are paired together um, on purpose. And I think that like these colors all flow and look really nice together. And actually even all eight look really nice together. Um, and I thought these four had a nice flow. So I think you can use that um, if you were wanting to mix them. Um, could you do a long skirt like them? I, I would. Mm -hmm. I would. Especially the, the print, the drape of the print. Just repeat that. Yeah, could you make a long skirt with these? I think you could do the Sixth Sense would be really nice. Um, the um, e-skirt would be great. I think those, both of those, the, the Eighth Avenue, that would be great. Oh yeah. Um, so, and I think even like something like the Lotus with this drapier corduroy mm -hmm. would be really nice. Even this one, you are seeing a lot of, um, you know, skirts are back, and you are seeing a lot of different fabrics um, in skirts. Everything from denim to corduroy. Um, so I think that would be that'd be fun. Did Kathy press the pleat on the back of? Did Kathy press the pleat on the back of the floral jacket? No. I mean, it's soft. I, it's not, you don't see a definite crease in it. Is that what they're asking? Mm -hmm. So do you just press it a little bit up here, or do you just pin it in place and, and stitch it? I pinned it and mm -hmm. stitched it. Okay. I mean, you do mm -hmm. press up here. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm kind of a, of a heavy presser. <laughs> I tend to be too, and then I 
sometimes. Regret it. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> I think, which is why I got the brush out. I thought, oh, maybe I spent a little too much time on that. But but it can be resurrected. I just did a tailor brush on it, and, mm -hmm. and it kind of corrected itself. So the, the pile on it is so um, low that you can get by with steaming mm. and... I get reckless with the iron. <laughs> I try to keep the pressing cloth right by there so I don't forget that it exists. Yeah. So um, so I don't do that. <laughs> Does the arm width run tight? Does the arm width run tight on the detour? I don't think it does. Here's, there's the small. I don't think so. I think, um, if anything, um, for me, I think I would widen it a little bit at the bottom. Um, you know, at my wrist, um, but I think the fullness in through the bicep area is nice. Yeah, I mean, you'd... Mm -hmm. um, how much fabric would you need just for the yoke? How much fabric would you need just for the yoke? If you are cutting it out on the cross grain, and this doubles, so you will need at least a half a yard because okay. there's They're a nice. fold up here so it would be mm -hmm. I mean I almost would do two-thirds to make sure it would be okay for just the yolk um, how much of each fabric did Kathy use for her Zona shirt <laughs> how much of each fabric did Kathy use for her Zona shirt uh, I'm gonna step over here a little mystery. bit so you can be in front and center <laughs> I would think I want to say a yard and a half will do it for each uh, fabric. All sizes, you think? Yeah, you know, the, the Zona, I mean, this whole shirt done in one fabric would take two yards. So because you are cutting it up, I think you can do it in a yard and a half of each. That might have to be its own separate Facebook Live. Yeah, but, but it, is a, it is a size <laughs> small, so, um, you know, maybe two yards if you're going into the larger sizes. I, th I think that needs to happen. You guys can encourage her. <laughs> um, the background of the floral detour is reading a little orange. They wondered, is it more gold? Yeah. We call it whiskey. So, you know, oh. To me, it's whiskey. gold. I think it's more gold versus kind of that reddish brown. Look that, at that the color of the buttons but on it. Take it closer. So mm -hmm. The button color is more what the background color is. Is that reading? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of an old gold. Old gold. I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd say that would be accurate. And then I'm going to do a close-up of the burgundy. Mm -hmm. See, you can't tell this is corduroy till you get close to it. Right. What I like, there was just a certain shine and richness mm -hmm. to this jacket with the pile going down. And the print's very sophisticated. I feel like a lot of times with printed corduroy, it's maybe a little bit juvenile like you might see it more in like children's wear or something like that um, but I think that this is a very sophisticated print which I think is rare any other questions is there enough stretch in the solid fabrics for pants is there enough stretch in the solid fabrics for pants you know there would be for the jeans the getaway jeans I think just like a lot of things that if you're if it's a, maybe a woven pattern or a stretch woven pattern, I think you have to possibly adjust your size, you know, depending on how much stretch is in the fabric. Um, so you do have to pay attention to that. It's not a ponte stretch. I mean, no. it's just a little bit of a comfort stretch to me. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think you just have to think about that. Think about your size and don't make the pant as you would if it was a knit. It's a 2% spandex. Mm -hmm. 2%. So yeah, not a lot. Just two-way, two-way stretch. Um, Kathy, did you make covered buttons for the floral jacket? No. <laughs> no, That's these... Exact, did you make covered buttons for the jacket, which is exactly it, what I thought when I saw it. Everyone <laughs> says that, but these buttons match. 
so beautifully, they do look like covered buttons. Mm -hmm. um, there probably are still a few of them in the button container. So if it's something that you really have your heart set on those buttons, I would act on it now. Because I don't think they can be ordered again. It's a one of a kind button, but there's probably maybe about 20 left in the drawer. Uh, I think that's all my questions. Okay, all right. Well, anything, let's see, let's go over what we have on sale this week. And so all the fabrics are on sale 15% off. The detour is on sale this week. And then also the detour compendium from So Confident 2020 is on sale as well. And, um, oh, and the Zona, the Zona. The Zona is on sale as well. And um, so any other questions that you have, just let us know. And thank you for the feedback on the mics. We'll see if we can adjust it and hopefully get the three person option working better next time. So but we appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll see you next week.